everybody, I'm Chelsea Cross, host of The Chelsea Cross Show, and welcome to part two of what millennials can learn from the amazing series, Masters of Sex. Lead character Virginia Johnson is the epitome of a woman leader who paved the way for our generation of females. Virginia had a full-time job, was a single mother, and took on more responsibilities than what her job description entailed. Virginia constantly challenged the gender roles that were clearly defined in the 50s and was dedicated to proving herself valuable alongside a man. Virginia was an intrapreneur. Although she was a full-time secretary for Dr. Masters, she went above and beyond to work extra hours to help get the human sexuality study off the ground. Her devotion and dedication launched her credibility as an employee and her worth in the workplace to a whole other level. Millennials. This concept can feed into our entrepreneurial spirit. We can all benefit from thinking like a intrapreneur, which can help us move up within the company or develop a new endeavor that can then become our own. Thanks to women like Virginia, females are dominating the workplace today. Females. 2013 marked a new high for female CEOs of Fortune 500 companies. Women are projected to have the greatest growth over the next 10 years in fields like nursing, home health assistance, child care, and food preparation. If you watch the series, Dr. Lillian DePaul is probably not your favorite character. However, in the show, she is at the forefront of making pap smears available to every woman. Virginia and Dr. DePaul join forces after overcoming their differences to raise funding and awareness about the pap smear and cervical cancer. In the past 40 years, the number and cases of deaths of cervical cancer have decreased significantly as a result of many women getting regular pap tests. Although the numbers are still high, we are seeing improvements. There are two huge takeaways here. First and foremost, every woman should have their first pap smear three years after they lose their virginity or by the time you're 21 years old. And second, women. We need to stop the cattiness, the competition, and the gossip and band together. When women come together, big things can happen. Masters of Sex is currently crushing Homeland's ratings during its first season run and will return in 2014 for season two, another 12 episodes. Tweet me some of your favorite moments from this series, uh, Masters of Sex, season one at Chelsea Cross. For more information on the Chelsea Cross show, visit ChelseaCross.com. And to subscribe to my, my YouTube channel, click here.